So, for more than 20 years, scientists have blamed a spooky, invisible force called dark energy for making the universe stretch faster and faster, like cosmic elastics suddenly snapping. It fits the math perfectly, but there's just one tiny problem. Nobody's ever seen the stuff. Not even a selfie. But now, an international team of brainy researchers suggests we may not need dark energy at all. Instead, the universe's fast-forward expansion might come straight from the very shape of space-time, thanks to a mind-bending approach called Finsler gravity. If this idea holds water, it could flip one of cosmology's biggest mysteries on its head. And lucky you, this video is here to guide you through the confusion. Let's dive in. Back in the late 1990s, astronomers looked at distant Type A supernovae and realized the universe isn't just expanding, it's hitting the gas pedal. Their equations freaked out, so scientists patched things up by inventing dark energy, a mysterious cosmic referee pushing everything apart. Helpful? Yes. Satisfying explanation? More like a mathematical band-aid. Fast forward to today. A new study published in the Journal of Cosmology and Astroparticle Physics by teams from a German research center with a name longer than this sentence and the Transylvanian University of Brasau suggests a fresh approach. Instead of stuffing unknown energy into the universe, they tweaked Einstein's geometry. They used Finsler geometry, which breaks the usual rule that space and time treat everyone equally. In this version, the universe gets a bit picky. Direction and motion matter. By reworking the Friedman equations, the ones that tell the universe how fast it's allowed to expand, the researchers made a wild discovery. So even when you remove absolutely everything, the universe still speeds up. This new model doesn't throw out everything we already know. At everyday cosmic energy levels, the stuff that shapes our universe, it still plays nicely with standard cosmology. No broken physics, no angry astronomers. The difference is it doesn't disagree with the Lambda CDM model, it just gives its biggest assumption a raised eyebrow. Instead of inventing some mysterious cosmic juice to power the universe's acceleration, this idea simply takes away an assumption and lets geometry do the heavy lifting. It's like saying, what if the universe doesn't need an extra engine? What if the road itself is sloped? This matters because it challenges one of cosmology's longest standing beliefs that an invisible force called dark energy is shoving galaxies apart like a cosmic bouncer. Sure, Lambda CDM has been the star student, matching everything from the cosmic microwave background to galaxy clustering to the way gravity bends light, but its A plus grades rely on a concept that no one's ever detected not even with the universe's biggest telescopes. That's where Finsler geometry steps in, like, relax, I've got this. It bakes cosmic acceleration right into space-time itself. No extra ingredients, no hidden energy, just pure geometric swagger. This approach fits a growing trend in theoretical physics, trying to solve cosmic puzzles by tweaking the structure of space-time rather than inventing invisible magic. Other models, like modified gravity theories and emergent space-time ideas, have wandered down similar paths, but this one stands out for how clean and elegant the math is. It tweaks the rules, steps back, and lets the equations do the talking. And the best part? It still agrees with what we observe across the cosmos. It explains what Lambda CDM explains, but it also explains why the universe speeds up in the first place. That makes it scientifically compelling. This doesn't mean dark energy is wrong. It means we may have been describing a phenomenon rather than identifying a cause. If the universe's acceleration turns out to be a geometric trick of space-time, then dark energy might just be a placeholder, a fancy label we slapped on something we didn't understand. Instead of being a mysterious cosmic fluid running the whole show, it could simply be a clue that the universe's geometry has deeper layers than an onion, but hopefully with fewer tears. This perspective doesn't just scribble in the margins of existing physics, it rewrites the way we picture the entire cosmos. It raises big deal questions. How does geometry evolve? How does it play with matter? And how do tiny local quirks scale up to influence the entire universe? Basically, the universe may be weirder and more creative than we gave it credit for. But, and it's a big but the size of a galaxy cluster, 
a beautiful idea isn't enough. To challenge dark energy, this model must not only look smart, it has to pass every observational test humanity can throw at it. Lambda CDM has been the undefeated champion for a reason. It matches decades of telescope data with impressive precision. So, if the Finsler Friedman model wants a seat at the cosmology cool kids table, it's going to need to survive a full scientific smackdown, including supernovae, the original cosmic red flags that exposed accelerated expansion, still the gold standard for checking how the universe grows, cosmic microwave background, the baby picture of the universe filled with tiny temperature wiggles that reveal its geometry with mind-blowing accuracy, baryon acoustic oscillations, the universe's built-in measuring sticks, charting how expansion has changed over billions of years, gravitational lensing and structure formation. The way galaxies clump and bend light gives us another reality check on gravity's behavior. Early results say the model fits some of this data, which is promising, but that doesn't guarantee a smooth ride. The universe has a reputation for humbling physicists just when they think they've cracked the code. On the theoretical front, scientists now have to poke and prog this model from every angle. One major question, can a Finn Schieslerian universe build stuff? It's one thing to explain accelerated expansion, it's another to explain how that expansion still allowed galaxies, clusters, and the giant cosmic web to form instead of everything yeeting apart into a lonely, featureless void. If geometry alone can grow the universe's grand structures and outperform or match Lambda CDM's predictions, that would be huge. This wouldn't be about adding a new cosmic ingredient, it would be about rewriting the recipe itself. And here's where things get spicy for fundamental physics. If the shape and direction of space-time are responsible for cosmic acceleration, we might be inching closer to a bridge between cosmology and quantum gravity, finally connecting the enormous with the teeny tiny. Imagine Einstein and quantum mechanics finally agreeing on something without a therapist present. Dark energy is still the reigning champion because, annoyingly, it works across all current observations. Whether geometry can fully replace that mysterious get-away-from-me force is a challenge only future data can solve. So, here's the big picture. A bold new study suggests that the universe may be accelerating not because of some unseen energy, but because space-time itself has hidden rules. If this holds up, it could reshape our cosmic worldview from the ground up.